All right, welcome back to House of Prep. It's Thursday. Hey, look, make sure that you've got bleach. After doing loads of laundry, disinfecting, whatever you're using, it's easy to use it up, and you kind of like, it's out of sight, out of mind, and you forget to write it down. Uh, something I talk about from time to time, there's one that says a splashless, or non-splash, or something like that. The splashless, that does not work when you're trying to disinfect water, okay? It's not the same as regular bleach. Um, I used to think splashless means like when you're pouring it, it's not gonna splash all over your clothes. So I thought maybe it's like a special spout or something like that. Hey, I, I'm serious, I did. And someone said, uh, hey Jerry, you know, that splashless, that is not good for when you're trying to disinfect your water. So I was like, wow, that's great. I always try to make sure from time to time to bring that up. Uh, that's important to know that. So make sure yours is just regular, good old fashioned, regular bleach. And it's good to have that on hand. Now you do know over time, it kind of loses its potency. So you, it, that's why I said, keep an eye on it. Um, you don't want to overstock it to where you never use it up and it all goes bad. Um, but you want to make sure you always have some on hand, okay? Uh, so I live here in Tennessee, just outside of Nashville, and I was kind of going through produce section, and I wanted to check this out, and it actually was probably in the best shape that I've seen it for a while. Even the heads of lettuce, I mean, it's a, that's a large size head of lettuce, uh, if I think it was like a buck seventy. So that's just something that I've noticed. I don't know about your all's area, about the produce. I mean, you know what, we've, we've had videos, we've talked about the produce and it's rough sometimes. Uh, before I keep talking about food, I had this. Uh, we've talked about this on like our Friday Night Lives and things like that. This is one of those propane adapter hoses, okay? Um, I mean, they, they make different brands. This one is a Mr. Heater. Uh, if I think about it, if I remember, I'll put a link in my video description of one that you can pull up on Amazon and look at, which that reminds me, I wanna make sure to thank you to all those that have been using my Amazon link to do your normal shopping. Um, anytime anybody, hey, you wanna do that, just go to the video description, click on my Amazon link, and you can just do your normal searching and everything right from that link. And anything that you buy, I get a small kickback. So thank you guys for doing that, I really appreciate that. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed, so thank you. <clears throat> so, let's talk about meat for a second. I ended up picking up, let me get it out of this plastic bag that I always put them in. I always wrap them in these extra bags, you know, when you're touching meat and packs of meat, you don't want to get nasty stuff all over you, right? So, you can already see the price here. <clears throat> uh, $6.47 a pound, this is for Chuck pot roast um, it's not as cheap as it used to be but that's kind of the price that I'm kind of willing to pay right now for meat <laughs> steaks are still you know 12 14 bucks a pound you know so I'm just kind of like well you know we have other things that we do um, but the, the chuck roast is really good meat and we it's good in the crock pot and you can add some taters and carrots and whatever your fancy is and add stuff to it. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, speaking of taters, <laughs> uh, these packs, look, I forget about these from time to time. I mean, I use them and then I forget, you know, to make sure that I stay stocked up on them in a pinch, right? So you know your normal instant. Now, obviously, you love, if you have real potatoes, you know, you just take the extra effort, the extra time, mash your own potatoes and all that stuff. But if you're in a pinch, you know, power goes out, you know, you don't have access to electricity or you don't want to deal with trying to run propane or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I guess you would have to run some propane to boil some water, uh, but that's it. Everything you need is inside this pouch. You know, like a normal box of uh, instant potatoes, you would have to add milk, you would have to add butter, right? Um, so this stuff is already ready to go. It's already in the bag. So literally boiling water, and then you add this, stir it up the fork, you're done. It's ready to go. So I like simple. And when you're going through a small 
SHTF situation or whatever, simple is best, okay? Make it super easy, and that can give you plenty of carbohydrates to add to, make, to, add to a meal. Uh, these jarred gravies. Jars have been very difficult to find, especially anything that's beef. I've talked about this in the past, and they had exactly three left on the shelf. So I've been looking for them. I grabbed them. Now, I have other ways for, you know, we have the packets of gravy, but again, in a pinch, this is ready to go, okay? You just heat it up a little bit and eat, it's done. I mean, you don't have to add water to it. Um, it's ready to go. So again, I'm, I'm simplizing some of my emergency food in my, my pantry, right? Some of the backups. Now, I also get the can. Can's smaller. So if two of us are eating, this for sure is good. Maybe three people, right? Depends on how much gravy we like to dump on our, our food. <laughs> so if, if it's three, four people, you start adding more people, then you want a jar, it's a little larger, so it's slightly more money. Um, but these are hard to find in my area. I've been, for the last few weeks, just kind of keeping an eye out for them. I could find the turkey and stuff like that, but the beef ones are the hardest to find. Probably people, those people can't buy steak, so they're like, well, we'll have beef gravy. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. <clears throat> hey, let's do a quick shout out here to condiments, okay? This again, very underappreciated stock item. They don't get a lot of, they don't get a lot of credit, okay? They don't get a lot of street cred. But hey, it, it'll ruin your day when you're making some food and you don't have some mayo, okay? <laughs> It can mess up, mess up your entire day. So, so make sure you're stocking up. Again, but seriously, folks, in a in a situation that you might come across, you know, power outage, you need to go ahead and boil up your eggs. You know, run your propane. You know, boil some water um, with with some eggs. You know, chop them up. Some mayo. Man, you got some instant egg salad sandwiches. And, and what a quick, easy meal. And it's protein, you know, eggs. Look, another underappreciated prep. Um, eggs. People freeze them. Uh, you know, people go ahead and, you know, open them up, put them in individual, like, ice cube trays after they've been beaten up. Um, experiment, however you want to do it. But, but eggs, you can use them for all kinds of stuff, and they're, they're a healthy food. Uh, protein, right? You can boil them, eat them, boil them. I like eggs, so good for me, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, ramen noodles. I know some people like them, don't like them, love them, hate them. Super small, super easy to make, right? They're not su they're not super healthy. Lots of sodium, you know. Sure, um, but again, in a pinch, you're trying to mix up your your preps, your food. I don't I don't prep a lot of these because we don't eat a lot, and they do expire. And I don't recommend eating old expired ramen noodles okay um so but i make sure we keep enough in stock because they are a a quick easy grab uh and they store in your pantries and things you can just shove these in little cracks and crevices and you can fill them up oh i hear the timer speaking of boiled eggs i've got some i got some eggs boiling now because i'm going to be eating some salad later um let's see real quick here they can boil for another minute Ibuprofen, just any type of pain meds. Just again, just always, you know, if you've got a few extra bucks, these are obviously one of the things back a year ago that these were off the shelf. They were hard to find. Um, and when you need them, you need them. So just keep plenty of meds on hand. Make sure you're stocking up. Uh, real quick, sports drinks, because I know sometimes these are a hot topic. They're hard to find sometimes, and especially like in the zero uh, sugar. Uh, flavors are hard to find, certain flavors, uh, but I was able to get some today. Yes, the shelf, though, was pretty decimated overall. Look, canned can stuff, ready-to-eat items in a situation that you just need to open up something to eat. Uh, pineapple is a great sweet treat. Uh, got the natural, you know, the sugars and stuff in there. Um, again, just something that when you're eating your rice and beans and you just want a snack or something you can open up a can of pineapples you know get creative with stuff like that 
but ready to eat stuff, you know, soups, vegetables, fruits. Um, it's just, it's a great opportunity to stock your pantry. <clears throat> Quick grabs, tuna, you know, cans of meat. You can get canned chicken, canned beef, which so the Keystone chicken was readily available, but no beef whatsoever. Again, beef seems to be the premium right now if things are what they want. Well, guys, that's it for now. Look, I appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you for taking time out. Jump in the comments. Uh, let me know how your area is going. Look, I, I've been keeping a close eye on what you all say, different countries, different states. Um, I love when we all share and communicate with each other on how things are looking out there. Uh, so hopefully this just gives you some little ideas and tips or just a little entertainment for today, right? <laughs> so you all take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.